so beautiful. Look at this. Vous travaillez dans le parfum, George? Yes, oui, avec Man. Ah, avec uh, Lucy Man. Man. And just we stylisti des États-Unis oui. and perform and we video all this. Uh, D'accord. Il est stylisti. Chicago, uh, c'est la ville d'Al Capone. Yes, Al Capone. Uh, that is absolutely uh, right. Quelle est la tricotaille? Toi, toi, bien parler français? Uh, je parle français un petit peu. Si, bien. Petit, toi, petit, toi, petit, petit, petit peu. Hi everybody, it's me again. Hello. I uh, wanted to do a, a video or a discussion on Bloom, the newest addition to the collection, to the signature, see we have that there, to the signature series. Um, when it came time for Bloom, I wanted to do something outside of the box and create um, something really beautiful. And for this, I went to the Jasmine and Gardenia, something that isn't considered masculine. And when I went to Claude, I said to him, I wanted to do something. I wanted to do a white incense, a jasmine incense fragrance. And we went through a couple renditions, actually went through quite a few renditions. And it was almost four years in the making and many different iterations and versions. And when we tried this one and I started wearing it, I'm like, wow, this is the one I think is, is good to put into the Zaharov collection. And then he told me, how much jasmine was in it. There was, there's gardenia and there's four types of jasmine, right? And so there is um, Arabian jasmine, there is Egyptian jasmine, there's white jasmine, and then there's star jasmine. Absolutely beautiful. And so the Arabian, Egyptian, white jasmine and the star jasmine all come together and play roles with the other oils in bloom where it just turned out to be just beautiful, especially on the dry down. I shouldn't say especially everywhere, from the top note to the dry down, just this beautiful um, symphony when it's blended with all the other fragrances. Uh, if I were to remove one of the jasmines, it gives it a whole different feel. And so I just think it's fabulous. Everyone has a memory of jasmine in their childhood, either by their mother, their grandmother, their aunt, their uncle, their garden, walking out of the house, because it's such a powerful, beautiful fragrance and um growing up my summers in greece uh i would walk out of the house of my grandmother's and i would smell the jasmine and so for me every time i smell jasmine i think of that very special moment in my childhood and i think most people have a scent memory of jasmine sometime in their childhood because it's the first time they smell it and it leaves such an impression. And so you spray bloom, the first thing you get is this gush of jasmine and it becomes like this, oh my God, it becomes like, and then you're, you're transported to that, that memory of when was the first time you smelled jasmine. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm so happy that it's in bloom um, because it makes me happy. And I think that it's gonna make a lot of, lot of people happy at, at first gush. So you spray, you spray, you spray it on yourself, you smell this gush of jasmine, and you're, you got this scent memory, and then the smell slowly dissipates, and um, you have this gold amber, Arabian and Egyptian jasmines, orange blossom and red peony. It's just so beautiful, and so when you're starting to dry down, and now the jasmines in the middle notes start to relax, and what comes to play is this heart note starts to pop up. So I took notes that are known for being signature and Zaharoff like sandalwood, oud, myrrh, and olibanum tears. Remember, feminine sweetness versus masculine wildness. And I think that's I think that we're able to do that with, with Bloom. So let's get into the packaging here. Um, I don't know if anyone has ever seen a jasmine plant or a bush. It, it's it's this big green thing, and all you see is dots of little white things. And I wanted to have something similar to that so when you look at the box it would give you that like wow that looks like a a, a jasmine plant. Like a, 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 a jasmine plant. I was trying to figure out how to portray that or how to give that impression when it came time for the packaging. Um, I was in the Louvre in Abu Dhabi and and the, the the roof of this museum has this kind of like a grid, I can't explain it. They put different layers on it 
So when the sun comes in, it comes and it shows through the ceiling these little rays of light. And it reminded me of when you're under a tree or under a plant. If you had a big plant and you're under the sun, how it comes through. Um, I wanted something like that. And when I, I saw the roof, I thought to myself, that's what I want to do. How do I do that? So I sat down with the manufacturing and I go, this is kind of what I want to do. And so um, we developed the three layers that you're, that you're familiar with when it comes to bloom. And so this is what I wanted. I wanted it to have dimension when you looked at it, something unusual and something that hasn't been done before. And I wanted this kind of feel that when you feel the, the petals of a jasmine plant, this is kind of what I wanted. Like it's kind of an iridescent and then you see the jasmine, the little jasmines here, the five points, and then you see the star jasmine in the center and then the different jasmines. And so that is the packaging that I did for, um, for Bloom. And there you go. And again, I did the white color of the petals. And when you actually feel, when you actually feel the cap, it feels like a jasmine petal. It feels like you're, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. And that's kind of what I wanted. And then in the background, you could see the five points jasmine and then amongst the different flowers so it's it looks like a big flower small flower um as you can see there's five points if you could see one two three four five or if you just count the different uh, the little ones there's five points in that so i just wanted to have fun with this and you could see the star jasmine in the middle um it's pretty pretty awesome so that's star that's star jasmine and i uh the newest edition. I, I stop and I think about the many blessings that you have, disp have bestowed on me. Uh, we started Zaharov um, four years ago and the many blessings that you have bestowed on to me and my dream and, and my house. I'm very grateful. So thank you. I hope, um, I hope to keep um, giving beauty into the world and positivity. And so thank you very much for being a part of this journey. Thank you.